Collaboration Workshop 6.2, Collaboration, Cooperation and Sharing. So this time we're going to talk about a Gelatis Phone Podcast. Now, this makes no sense at all, but basically what we did was um, we went to Gelatissimo, which is, yes, it's an ice cream place, um, as for, just for an excursion, and the idea was to get the students out of the class and going to a different venue to try and get work done. Now, it's an excuse to eat ice cream, right? So basically, and I had my extension science class, which are students who are doing... Um, extension science, some really hard science, um, and I want them to go into a place where they couldn't just rely on their textbooks and everything. Now, we have Wi-Fi everywhere in Adelaide now, so this is a bit easier, but they had to go and um, answer questions without any um, access to knowledge. While they were there, they had to produce a podcast, so therefore they needed a good rubric of what they needed to do, and researching was very difficult. They could ask questions of each other, um, some of them jumped on their phones and used um, the internet, um, some, uh, some of them would actually look at where they are and use the information there. Now originally we used, um, we, used uh, we had the idea of uh, researching things that were cold, so one was looking at absolute zero, another student was looking at um, liquid nitrogen or li um, liquid cooled engines, you know, so the, uh, another group was looking at hypothermia. So here we had, um, they had the iPads, uh, that's what they were using for researching, and they got into their groups. Each group, I, mean, I was nice enough to buy one of these ice creams, giant ice creams, they all ate the ice creams in their group, but I also had to produce the podcast at the same time. Now to produce the podcast, they would use their phones or their iPad or um, some kind of recording device, their computers if they want to, uh, and they had to make a two minute podcast that answered the questions. Meanwhile, I'm sitting there, eating my ice cream. I didn't eat all that ice cream, I, I shared it with other people as well. But I'm sitting there allowing them to do all their work and then at the end of it, they came up, I put in my headphones and I would listen to their podcast and then mark them there and then. Now, I understand that this, it seems kind of pointless. However, when we actually look at it, I'm just gonna switch out. The idea is, you're, you can use this for any excursion or any task, okay? So this is the original one which we made. Um, so they're looking at about, they actually, the idea originally was looking at gelati. So they had to research about gelati, find out where it's made, so they could ask the guy at the, sh at the shop. All right, and then it's, they had to make a podcast. A uh, podcast being a uh, product on demand, um, but basically making a little um, sound recording or video recording. So this was the original one. I'm just gonna close this because we made, so this is now what we use for our two minute podcast. Anytime I do this, I make the, uh, the only thing I change is the yellow writing. So in this case, uh, the students have to make a two minute podcast and this was about, um, the students had to build a biosphere on a planet, on an exoplanet, which is a planet outside of our solar system. So it's orbiting a different star. And they had to talk about how they would build their biosphere on, a, on one of these different planets. So they have to apply their knowledge of plate tectonics and um, um, the age of the of the of the uh, of the world and the age of the sun and so on to determine how thick the crust was and therefore how stable it was and so on. So this is all information we'd learn in class and then I'm taking away into a different area. Here is the way that we assessed it. So here, all I would do when I finished is they'd hand me back their two-minute podcast. I put my headphones on, and I would then just highlight, just tick the things I've done. So here I'm looking at research. Have they researched everything? Is it a high standard? When they're presenting, does it does the uh, vodcast or podcast flow really well? Um, was it the right length? Because it had to be two minutes, plus or minus 10 seconds. Once they went out of that plus or minus 10 seconds, they'd go into the next category. Was the content all relevant or were they getting off task? And was it clear? Was there like was it clear with, with um, no stoppage, easy to understand, um, for the voice, easy to understand, and it just flowed really well. And then the other part was, um, was when they're working in the group, did they work well together or, and did they disrupt other people? And in this case, was all the ice cream consumed? Now, to give you a different example of this, here is a biology podcast where they could do this in the class or wherever they're going. So they're researching the DNA and each group was given a different topic that they had to, had to research. Um, so in this case, one looked at DNA replication, one looked at cancer, one looked at replication errors and so on. Um, and so this is how we then ass assess the students. Now, so it, because it only goes for two minutes, your marking only takes two minutes. Now, if instead of going to Gelatissimo, say you're going to the town hall, I normally have in here as well um, that they have to include a quote. 
So it means that all your students while you're doing this are sitting there listening intently to the person giving the tour uh, because they want to get that quote. So it appears that your students are interested in what they're doing. They may not be, but giving the appearance is, in, is kind of important. So the beauty about this is the students are working together, they're collaborating together to produce a very short product that demonstrates their knowledge and understanding of the topic that's covered. Um, it's a great way of when you're going on an excursion to really get them to do something. Most people design worksheets, like if you go to the zoo, they'll design a worksheet or a booklet that you've got to work through, and so the students are just ticking and answering questions. The problem is then you, you have to go through and mark those things. If you instead say, right, you have to, you have to choose one of these animals and you have to do a, a podcast about these animals. So let them go around, let them do their research, and then you let them sit down so when they're having their break or their lunch, they sit down, that, that's when they can have their time to record. Before they leave or on the, on the trip back to your school, you put your headphones in, you listen to the group to the group's podcast. By the time you're back at school, everything's marked and you're finished. You're not marking lots of booklets. So that's a great method of um, really analysing how students are going um, with their...